Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Earlier this week, the World Energy Council launched a new study highlighting South Africa's potential to develop an unconventional gas market, despite the lack of progress being made to exploit this option. Crema Media's Natasha Woodendahl was at the launch of this study. She joins me now. Welcome, Natasha. Hi. Tell me, what were some of the main arguments held by the World Energy Council in favour of unconventional gas development in South Africa? Well, unconventional gas worldwide is a growing phenomenon at the moment. Uh, many countries are actually looking into the potential of unconventional gas as, as a form or as an alternative form of energy. The World Energy Council uh, believes that South Africa has untapped potential. Now, while we're not really certain of what we actually have underground, there are indications that the Karoo hosts a significant basin for unconventional gas and that there's a possibility that we can actually exploit that, that we can along, you know, just after um, numerous other major countries, actually exploit our producer potential for unconventional gas. Um, the, the report also points out that countries like Saudi Arabia, Poland, Turkey also host uh, the potential to actually become major producers. And along with obviously the US, who's the leader in this at the moment, I mean, it could really serve as a potential to actually develop the market um, and actually, as the report actually said, shift the actual dynamics of the, of the gas market in the world. Did the report highlight any of the typical concerns that argue against shale gas development in South Africa? Uh, no, not particularly. Uh, it acknowledged that there are some environmental concerns in South Africa. I mean, it has been quite a controversial subject here. Um, there have been many, many concerns raised, and not all of them environmental. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, questions about where the skills in that would come from to actually develop a, a solid market here. But the report itself didn't highlight any of those facts. Um, it's, it seemed to more highlight the potential that we can have as a market, as opposed to actually dealing with the nitty gritties of behind the scenes of developing this market. The the main con main points of the actual report is how it a, a big major market can actually bring the price of gas down. It can make it more affordable um, in the long term, you know, if we were to develop something major in South Africa. It it's could actually be complementary to other forms of gas in, in the country. Lastly, what would South Africa need to do to establish an unconventional gas market? Well, obviously, in conjunction to alleviating the con environmental concerns that we have, South Africa would need to actually develop local expertise. Um, at the moment, we, we're not very well versed in what it takes to run or develop a proper and conventional gas project on a major scale at the moment. So we would need to build that expertise up a bit, um, get the skills and get it going. Uh, secondly, we would actually need to build the infrastructure. We don't really have much infrastructure, especially out in the crew or, or the identified areas where we need to develop. Um, that we need roads, we obviously need electricity, we need a whole host of other things in addition to what it would, you know, the conventional developments of unconventional gas projects would need. Um, and then further to that, obviously policies. We need to develop policies about how we're actually going to go about it. We need to examine, you know, the frameworks that we would have in place um, to actually develop a project of this nature in South Africa because it is obviously quite a, a controversial um, project, well, you know, pro uh, market that we're trying to develop, and it is very complex. We would need to get the basis um, settled before we can actually move forward with that. We need to gain certainty of where everybody stands and, and what the actual impact of this will be. And, then, and, and also on a side note, they do need to actually research what potential South Africa has. We need to bed down about what we have, um, do more research. Um, dig deep into, into what our resources are and we can take it from there. Thanks, Natasha. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.